I want to play a game. Why do you seem so scared? All I wanted to do was play with you. Hey guys, welcome to Chambers of Horrors playthrough of Until Dawn. This one's going to be pretty fun. Um, we're actually doing a giveaway and you can find the details about it in the description and in our Until Dawn promotional trailer for the giveaway and there'll be three easter eggs which you'll have to find throughout our uh, playthrough so just check out those details below and uh, yeah let's, uh, let's crack on I've heard this game's supposed to be pretty, pretty good I've never played for it myself uh, Zodiac has so it should be pretty pretty funny to see uh, what happens so let's see it's all about the butterfly effect choose your actions carefully it says <laughs> good luck to me somewhere. Oh wow. You know it starts off well when there's a, a random dude oh, or woman outside the house with a knife. Don't you guys think this is a little bit oh come on she deserves it. It's not her fault that she has a huge crush on her. I am not even making moves on her. I'm just looking out for my girlfriend. Just because it's a class it doesn't mean it belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Mike is my man. Not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Oh, it's her from Heroes. Save the cheerleader. Save the world. Love that program. Amazing. It's a throwback. Hannah! <laughs> No one else is there. Oh, this guy's dead. Wait, thank you. Come on. Yes. Ooh, Jeremiah Craig. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Oh. Absolutely sloshed. What's this then? Pick it up. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike XXS. Oh dear, the set up. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Put your teeth away. <laughs> Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. He's 
right. If I let this away, Josh, uh, screw Josh. He's gonna be useless. There's someone outside. Totem. Nice. Does that mean I'm gonna die? the end of the game. <laughs> oh, the analyst. Dr. A. J. Hill. Okay, Dr. Hill. Before it begins, 
There are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Okay. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate. Not breaking any fall balls here. Around you. Whoa, don't move that close. Keep so your distance. You have committed to commence with this Social game. distance. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get. How upsetting? Well, it's fine. It what, things can get really bad? Hmm? Things can get really bad. Things can get really bad. All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential. Answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Okay. Oh no, scarecrows. So, how did that picture make you feel? Scarecrows. <laughs> it makes me happy. When the skies are grey. Yeah. <laughs> what day did it make you happy? Mm, the sunshine is peaceful. The sunshine. Sunshine. Sunshine, lolly. The wicked word would best describe how you feel about darkness. Dr. Phil. I feel depressed. It scares me. Neither. I feel depressed. I want to get you one of those pros out. Already on. Feelings of loneliness are not uncommon. This night in which your game takes place is particularly cold and dark. I would think that you might feel isolated at times. Does that bother you? I'd be fine. Well, not much of a people's person, are we? We have uncovered a significant topic to explore in our next session, but for now we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Until then. <sighs> okay. Food. Don't offer me a drink. And now he's just thinking to himself at the window. Okay, I think you need it on the list. Not me. Sony Computer Entertainment. Yeah. A happy song. Very happy song. So this is just the prologue then. Ooh, dream catches. And sword blades? of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Is there any client who is in charge of the investigation? 
Thanks for having me, Marty. Well, this is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the sanatorium. Ground, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anne. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends uh, and fans. Rami, I'm terrible at pronouncing awesome names. It's to have you guys all back this year. Um, first of all, I gotta say, I'm super excited to welcome all my pals back the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <sighs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but I just want you all to know, um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know, okay, so... Okay. Let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? And how do you yes. know what porn stars party like? Eh? Eh? Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, and diligent. Bam! Bam, I am. Hello? Someone there? Hello. Okay. Good start. Tutorial. this wow what the gates busted hard over nice okay what we're doing quick uh, whoa uh, I wasn't expecting being like quick quick uh, <laughs> close Oh man, this game's already stressful and I just climb over a wall. I ain't moving. 
she get those nuts from? Oh, well. Okay. Catch her info. Cool, death, danger, loss, <laughs> guidance of fortune. Oh, one of these again. Yeah, okay, I get it. Let me pick it up now. You have to wait for it because it's slow. Guidance totem. Huh? Strange. <laughs> What's that? The pass is beyond our control. Yeah. The pass is beyond our control. Uh, uh, all the way up here. Nice. I bet it was the analyst guy messing with me. Always the analyst. Dr. Phil, Oprah! <laughs> Bags here, what have you got? Nothing in the bag, are you? Oh. How did I fit in the bag? The phone ringing. Okay. What should I do? Close the bag. Or snoop. Are you a snooper? I'm being nice. As a Christian Ashley, methodical, protective, and humorous. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Going to blow your mind. Blow your mind. <laughs> Is it really going to blow my mind? Oh, shiny. Yep. Flash, flash, flash. Clue found. Six foot two. Last time I just back with points. Yeah, of course it's gonna be a killer here. Sliced someone thought so. Oh come on, it's place of banana was a year. Somebody comes up here. Okay, please. Ta da! Pretty red, right? Ta da! What is it? Yeah! Yeah, shoot range. Look at these beauties. Uh beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? What the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, good point. Dude, have mm -hmm. you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Also a good point. He's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. All right. Yeah, I get to shoot. Here goes. Okay. Pow pow. Uh, oh, the flashy one. To Top left. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Wow, we have a sharpshooter, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, nice shooting tips. All right, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm gonna go ahead Tex, and I'm sure that used to be a cartoon years ago when I was growing up. I don't think so, You say nice shooting Tex. 50 years ago. Oh, no, you didn't. Anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle. Back in my day. Oh, oh, it's on. Oh. Yeah. Do you want some cream for that nappy rash? <laughs> That's funny. Nice shot. Oh, no, gross. gross. <laughs> hey, sharpshooter, right? Oh, what's going on? Hey, I'm just trying to hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. To the cable car. There it is. It's definitely weird coming back up here. Yeah, that's weird. Door 
doors locked. Yeah. Uh, no. Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Yep. Master of unlocking the on Jill Valentine. Jill sandwich. What's in here? What's in here? Hello, la, 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 la. Poster. Car was closed. Hotel and sanatorium. Guess we gotta wait. Fabulous. What a crazy place to set up house. Yep. And no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. You only bought a mountain. <laughs> I don't want to buy a mountain. With a dragon on. What? Huh? Was that a bath? Yeah, exactly. Huh? That's not freaky. Oh, yeah. Let's go in, let's go in, let's go in. Finally, you coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. I was right next to that cable car. seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, you know, I'm kind of bored. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, hey, bro. Good talk. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed, but the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. Oh dear. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Is that lady was shit? Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh, that's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. <laughs> if it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off a training bra? I mean, who knows? You <laughs> could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Indeed. new girlfriend. Oh, okay. Confident, trusting, and I thought it said irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> irrelevant. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. New people. Stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, <laughs> got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Oh. Hey! Well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. 
And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Explain. Mike and M split. We're together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. Okay. Let's just get up to the bar already because I'm getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. It's pretty amazing. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? Emily, Mike's ex. Intelligent, resourceful, and persuasive. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. Matt, Emily's new boyfriend. Ambitious, active, and motivated. No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? Oh, well, I guess I am one. Coming through. You're <sighs> out the way. I'm chill. We're almost there. No, I mean, we're getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> Mike, Emily's ex. Oh, this is gonna get good, isn't it? Intelligent, driven, and persuasive. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're out in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The Dragons. spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Welcome. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Nah. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. <laughs> Uh, no. so we're gonna make it. Right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. What a dick. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? I'm gonna go the back bags? and see my yeah. ex. All the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important. Matt, please. Pretty please. Great. All right. Fine. Be a cook. If it's so important, I guess I can pack up the rest of the way. Cook. Oh. But you only a cook. Excuse me? A little bit more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Mwah. 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 Look at that swag. He's got so much of the rough end of the stick. Oh, yeah. Bellboy. I'm Chris, they have a crush on each other, okay, academic, inquisitive, and full of fright. So why aren't they together then? Mm. Hello, is anybody out here? What's that? Is that? Someone's sitting there. Yeah. Weird. Hey! Oh, hello. What did she I say? Getting a little friendly. Yeah. I'm not in the friend zone kind Thought of she was way. looking on for Sam. I need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa. Sorry there. Sorry about that ass. I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, 
scare Jeez you. Louise, but what? I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Gosh, for reals? Yeah. Hey, well, wow. man, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's okay. He seems like a sweet guy. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with those things? Uh, they always finish uh, last. Let me check it out. I don't. Uh, yeah, it's kind of busted. It's not. It's not like really interesting. It's just what? For real? I, I bet I could find like a cool bear chowing down on a fox or something. No, you go for just with the X. I wonder what would happen if you said help yourself, because then he's like, you are a fucking lie. <laughs> uh, sure, help yourself. <laughs> I don't know why you do that. <laughs> Emily? Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. But nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Maybe ever? Not. I don't know. I... No. Matt. Don't be a dick, Matt. Come on. Don't leave me out in the cold. He's not being a dick. He's just seeing his girlfriend have a hook with his, like, her ex. That's who you saw. Yeah, Jessica sitting around. Jessica. Waiting for Mike. Read book or check phone. Check phone. <laughs> oh, Why does she remind me of Paris Hilton? You did not just do that. Because she's got one. Put your hand where I can see her. We've got tails. That's so blonde hairy. But who am I to retaliate? No. How is it? What choice do I, a supple young rebel it's girl, have to do with blonde hair? Should the strapping right. military guy come to take me into custody? Smack him in the face. Well, what a pair of natural she's, she's got. Like <laughs> <laughs> they all have actually. They all have hmm. teeth. Oh. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Great. You okay. You know that? <laughs> hey, where are you hiding, little chickadee? Chickadee. Oh, gotcha. Oh, hey. Whoa. Oh, snap. <laughs> Why would you want to hit a bird? Please don't tell me I have to hit a bird. Hello? Come on. Hey, Mike! <laughs> Owned. She's better at throwing than he is. Or you're just good at dodging. Both. <clears throat> you can't hide right from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. You could actually get him from there. Yeah. I wonder what would have happened if he hit the I'll laugh if he had have, um, thrown it. Oh! Oh! Right! Why did you just... And then what? Oh! Oh! No Fight you just... Oh, oh yeah. Fight oh, you. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> oh, Whoa. Gotcha. Dumb. Done. Oh, huh? down. City. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know if that was my day. Whoa. Alright, alright. My mind. So we're calling it my favorite then? <laughs> Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. My lady. Kiss her. Kiss or grab no grab a freaking snowball. Smack it in his ah! face. Yeah. Oh ho ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well, I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait until later. Ooh. Ooh. We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. <laughs> Just making out? Wow, she uh, wants it. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. She really wants it. Oh, Alice is back. Doctor Hill? Hello again. Hello. And how are we feeling? Pretty damn good, thanks. How about you? I felt that we made some good progress. Okay. In our last session. When 
conundrum concerned about your situation. What? Why? What's that do? Let's throw this snowballs. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. I don't have any anxiety. Now pick up that book. Turn the yeah, pages. you do. Well, true. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Okay. Women worry me, men worry me. Well, neither. Um. Oh, it's good for men. Silly, it's good. Crowds scare me, planes scare me. Uh, yeah, I'm just good with planes. Snakes on a plane. Hmm. I'm tired of these motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane. I fear heights, I fear drowning more than heights. Oof, none of them scare me. Rats scare me more, I suppose. I'm scared more than the guns. I don't know why. I'm fine to be honest, but they do. Cockroaches are more gross than rats. Ugh. Scarecrows. Crows are not scary. Gore doesn't really disgust me that much. But Oh. <laughs> Did that startle you? So sorry. You're you a dick. Very well. Dr. Hill, you're a dick. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Why has he got tissues on his ass? Try to you. Hmm. Speed up. <laughs> the more you rely on your instinct, the more honest your answers metronome. will be, and the more enlightening the more you will be. The very easy See? Pokemon reference. Sure. Okay. So. Spiders or cockroaches? Oh no, I don't like any of them. Gotta be cocks. Roaches. <laughs> cocks, roaches. <laughs> right. Needles or gore? Oh, I suppose needles more so than gore. Even though I'm not really bothered by needles. I hope you're taking this all down, sir. Zombies or scarecrow? Go zombies. Brains! Blah. Oh, I love wolves and dogs. That's a wolf, not a dog. It is a wolf. In sheep's clothing. Storms do not scare me at all. I love them, if I'm perfectly honest. I think they're wicked. Like the one we had the other week. It's very okay. interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. You're welcome. <laughs> Put your Cockroaches, zombies, and needles. <laughs> the mm. combination sounds like a good Friday night. I don't know what Friday night you are into, but okay. Mm. Uh, I do not want to be there. Well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. I'm not sure I want to talk to you, Chief. Oh, he hasn't got a cup of tea this time. Hey guys, thanks for watching and if you enjoy our content, please like our video and consider pressing the Zodiac bell icon to the right in order to subscribe. And for updates on new videos, click the bell icon below. You can also find us on Twitch, Facebook and Twitter as Chambers of Horrors.